thing, the thing that we promised God in the state is that we're going to stick through it. In sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, till death do us part. That's the decision you make. Figure it out, because don't nobody want you out here. When you come out here, after you done and you done did whatever you did with your ex-husband or your baby daddy or whatever, nobody wants you after the fact, because all you get is problem after problem after problem after problem. Stick to the decisions that you make. That's the that's the simple part. Everybody's talking about date vision and married values. Most of us, most of us, here's the reality. Most of us don't really have any real values to begin with. Half of the yeah. shit that we say we find valuable, we don't even stick to. Christians ain't real Christians. Muslims ain't real Muslims. Hell, some of us believe in certain shit. We don't even believe in it. We only believe in it half the time. I think it's all bullshit what he's saying. You, you you marry actions. Oh, I believe in this. I believe in that. Right. I believe in Jesus, but you are fucking these hoes. <laughs> Words is simply the it's, it's simply the canvas that people paint their bullshit on. It's the actions that matter. Don't matter what a person say out their mouth or what they say they believe, how they act, how they moving. Consistently. Right. See, that's how they get ladies. That's how they get you, baby. Let me let me talk to y'all real quick. Did you hear what I said? Y'all see y'all see this. Is what dudes do. You see how they say, watch what he do. Right. Well, make sure make sure he inspired. Make sure uh, he didn't run us this bullshit. Date vision. Mary. Nah, watch what a man do. Watch what he do. Understand that y'all fall in love with y'all ears and not y'all eyes. God gave you two of, two of each of them. Use both of them. Right? That's bullshit what he said. That's game. You watch a man and you watch what he do. Same with fellas. You watch a woman and watch how she move. I don't give a damn what you believe as long as you do what I need you to do. As long as you move and how I need you to move, we good. You can think about it. You can hate it all you want. Everything ain't easy. Everything ain't going to be what you like or what you happy with to do. Marriage is about D-U-T-Y. Duty. And if you fulfill that duty, do what I ask and do what we need to do as a couple and give me that booty, everything else going to be all right. That's all I got on. The emphasis on booty was legendary. I just want y'all to know that. Sweeney, we go on to you. Date vision, but married values. <laughs> uh, I, I'm with Ricky on this. I think it's all bullshit. But not for the same reason he's saying it. It's all bullshit because I always say this. It takes a lifetime to get to know somebody. A full lifetime. You don't know how they handle a lot of different shit that comes to their life. So... The, the problem is, is that a lot of us just aren't dedicated when it comes to the decisions that we make and we don't know how to stick shit through. That's the problem is that when we make we make long term decisions. Based on short term gratification, and then we find then we sit here and wonder why shit didn't work out. So when you go out and you make babies with somebody that you had no business making baby with. But you but but and, and the only thing you needed to do take birth control or wrap it up or a combination of both or you decide to spend four or five years with somebody for no reason other than because they get your rocks off i mean the, the simple is as simple it's, it's pretty simple find somebody that you can rock with and honor the vows that you took honor it that's the only like and when we talk about this the only kind what the terms of the contract, whether we do it before the state or before God, is till death do us part. That's the only thing you have to honor in the contract. And then we don't even want to honor that. And then we got to go. Now you got to go to the state and the state got to step in. Because they're like, well, since y'all don't honor this shit, we got to come in and fuck some shit up for y'all. Honor the contract. Whatever decision you make, stick to it because it is what it is. Whether you young and dumb, or grown and stupid. Get with the person you get with. Stick the shit out. You said you was, you married that woman. You made babies with her. Stick it out. Finish it. 
it's just to the end of the road because the, the reality is is that and, and I'm and I'm a product of this decision of, of my poor decisions as well. Like I said, I have a son out of there that I had out of wedlock or whatever. You know what I mean? And I can't tell you what I would have done in that moment if I had I known about him early on in his life rather than later on. But learn from the people who've made the mistakes before you. Don't make babies and don't make and don't make babies with people you don't intend to be with for the rest of your life. Honor the decisions that you decide to make. I.e., if you decide to marry them, hey, you accept the fact that that person may change. You accept the fact that that person may go through things. You accept the fact that they have to, they accept the fact that you may change. Change comes in every relationship, no matter whether we want it to or not. The thing, the thing that we promise God in the state is that we're going to stick through it. In sickness and in health, for richer or for poor, till death do us part. That's the decision you make. Figure it out, because don't nobody want you out here. When you come out here, after you done and you done did whatever you did with your ex-husband or your baby daddy or whatever, nobody wants you after the fact because all you get is problem after problem after problem after problem. Stick to the decisions that you make. That's the, that's the simple part. Everybody's talking about date vision and married values. Most of us, most of us, here's the reality. Most of us don't really have any real values to begin with. Half of the Damn. shit that we say we find valuable, we don't even stick to. Christians ain't real Christians. Muslims ain't real Muslims. Hell, some of us believe in certain shit. We don't even believe in it. We only believe in it half the time. They believe in rocks and shit. I would say majority of the time, most of our values come from our parents. And most of the time, our parents be kind of jacked up in themselves. <laughs> so you, you, you chew the meat, spit out the bones, and go with the, and go with the decision that you make. Stick it out, because once you get out there, all you keep doing is adding trauma on top of trauma on top of trauma on top of trauma. The more you stay out there and you stay single, you can teach somebody how to love you. You can work that shit out over time, but you keep starting over every five seconds because, oh, this situation didn't work out because, oh, the sex wasn't that, wasn't that great. Or this situation didn't work out because he got on my nerve that one time he, he decided to sleep in, a, sleep in, a, sleep in a, the, 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 the man cave instead of the room. We, we break up over the dumbest fucking reasons and then wonder why our situations are so jacked up. We don't even divorce for real reasons. Mm. Majority of the time, we have no idea the reason. You ask somebody, man, why did y'all really, why, what really happened? I don't know. Just wasn't happy no more. Yeah. My thing is with that, Sweeney, like people, they have relationships with their parents, their sisters, their aunties and uncles, but they act like that relationship is all the way good. You're going to have disagreements with them. You know, you're not going to be always happy when your parent says something to you, but right. you are able to stick that out, right? When you get married, you got to make sure that, that you understand that that person you married is now your family. That ain't going nowhere, especially when you make kids. How you many times how many, the damn way. how many times have y'all seen somebody, seen a cousin, fucked them over three or four times in a row, and they keep going back, they keep being friends with the person? Thank you. You keep saying like, man, why are you still hanging out with him, man? It's, it's they family. How many people do you see don't even cut off cut off family members? They had cut off the person they made. A, they made a. You don't owe nobody else in your family anything except for the person you decide to marry. But and this was crazy though. The the uh the cousin or the family member, you can't even have sex with the person. So it makes even more sense that the person that <laughs> you're having sex with you'll give more chances to versus the person that you're not getting shit out of, but annoyance. <laughs> but the person you're having sex with that empties your balls every other night, you don't give them a chance and you just leave them. But you keep your little dumbass cousin around. What the <laughs> hell? Mama been getting on your nerve every day of the week. You still so go. You draining the balls. Parent, the hey, balls. Yo, yo, your mama did you dirty. Stole money out your account and everything. Still, right. I love mama. Put it yeah. up. Hey, hold name. up, hold up. Your daddy, your daddy ain't been there, right? Now nah, he all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? He want to pop up and walk you down an aisle after a man that took care of you. Still love your daddy, but the one person that was supposed to be for you, see, because your mom and daddy, they had their own life. They made their own choices and decisions. Their life is done, right? Your children, they're going to have their own life, right? But the one person that's supposed to be for you, you give up on them quicker than you can quit a job. And the yeah. crazy speaking of job, is, speaking of job, the woman you're with made a choice to be with you. Your mama had you by mistake. 